This is a video review of the M06 Legendary Warrior from the folks at Wei Jiang. So this is basically their upscaled version of the leader class Grimlock from Studio Series um, with premium paint and a few new accessories and of course upscaled. Um, there are quite a few changes uh, that um, differentiated with the original release which we shall compare with you. And I think the end result is probably the most screen accurate as well as the best, the best version of um, movie Grimlock that we've gotten. So let's take a look at the packaging, the accessories, and then let's take a look at Grimlock. So this is Grimlock's packaging. As you can see, it does say Wei Jiang there. Features Grimlock in his robot mode with Prime proudly riding him. The bottom it says M06 Legendary Warrior. Get a pay Dr. Wiley. At the top is a nice image of Grimlock in his robot mode. Sorry for the glare. This side has nothing but some warning text and that QR code which I never tried to visit. The other side only says legendary warrior nothing else at the back is a few product shots of grimlock as you can see he comes with a small optimus prime which i will feature later on some nice accessories which will feature later on some light up features as well the bottom is just some chinese words that i don't really understand so just like other way jank figures inside is just this plastic clamshell and this houses grimlock lots of slots for his accessories so typical way jank fair now in terms of the accessories itself um he does come with this fire blast which if it's not familiar with you is an upscaled version of the fire blast oops, sorry that came from leader class the last night megatron not my favorite accessory but it's free with the figure he also comes with his trusty mace which is really nicely done just like the rest of the figure nicely painted nicely done weathered look and this the paint goes all the way across the shaft this does compress and extend and this does fold out but that's mainly for transformation he also comes with this nicely done um morning star so and this has a few points of articulation as well so there are hinge joints there 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 and there i would have preferred them to be ball joints but as it is it's not too bad and then there's this ball at the end spike ball and it does hold some poses so you can have Grimlock holding it in dynamic poses. And he also comes with these two accessories, which is basically the throat and tongue of Grimlock in um, dino mode. So just plug that in and we'll feature that later on. This tongue part is soft plastic. And last but not the least, probably the best accessory ever. He also comes with this nicely done non-transforming Optimus Prime. Now I do I do remember that he does there is a release of this. I don't know if it's the same um manufacturer or a different one that came with an Optimus Prime that transforms and basically it's a miniature of the Voyager um the last night Optimus Prime um i've i haven't seen that in person haven't played with that but i 
personally prefer this just because it's not hindered by any transformation and it has a lot of posability um, and a lot of nicely painted details as well so let me just zoom in so you can see the details you can see lots of gold paint there as well nicely and cleanly painted um, pecs same with the shoulder pads and these are removable nicely painted arm guards even the cables on the legs clean very cleanly painted this is removable as well and another benefit of not being able to transform is a very clean back it's nice it does you do see the screw holes but what can you do it's not that big anyway so it's not too bad And in, in terms of trend, uh, articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so it's it's freely moving and go around, but hindered by the shoulder guards. The arms can go all the way around, can go up and down in that hinge as well. You can go all the way out. This this thing moves, so you can go all the way out if you wanted to. So this is on a double hinge. There is a upper shoulder swivel, 90 degree bend at the elbow, swiveled wrist, swivel at the waist, no ab crunch, but that's okay. This thing moves, these two move independently of each other, and then go all the way around. Um, the legs go all the way out, all the way up all the way back so extreme poses hinge at the leg 90 degree bend on the knee and the foot is basically on a ball joint it's not as flexible as i'd wanted to but you know you can pull up some decent poses on the feet um and yeah okay, let's plug this in plug this in and yeah you get a really well done really articulated miniature prime Oop. now it also comes with this mini booklet that basically shows you how to install sorry how to install the batteries on Grimlock and I'll show you where it goes so basically it does have light feature light up features on both the dyno mode and the robot mode he also comes with this booklet let's open it now which is just basically you now uh, it basically displays all the features of Grimlock so features transformation all that good stuff now here is the main attraction himself grimlock now here is the main attraction here is grimlock in his robot mode and as you can see he's a really really nicely done figure so we can let me just remove these accessories and let's take a closer look at Grimlock so he's, he does feature the same weather weathered paint that we saw earlier uh, much better than the weathered paint that came with the original in my opinion comes with a lot of these bronze type tubing paint nice really nicely done in my opinion and the feet are die cast so this p this part of the foot is die cast this is plastic but the main foot part is die cast so from the back can, again really nicely done now a lot of this is just holdovers from the original original version which I will show off in a bit 
but yeah as i said they've taken what is essentially that version of grimlock the studio series leader class and improve on it a lot so now as i've said it does feature some light up features so at the back of the head there is that white button there and if you press that his eyes do light up um let me see if it's better if i turn off my light there you go it's actually really really bright as you can see really really nice now actually to put on the battery just have to unscrew that part take it off plug in those two small watch batteries and you're good to go let me turn off that right now in terms of articulation he does he is basically the same as the leader class Oh, this, this part is diecast as well, by the way. So this articulation is basically the same as the leader class. This part does push down if you need it to. Um, the head is still on that ball joint, left and right, up and down. Around, hindered by the, sh uh, the collars. The arms can go all the way around, hindered by the horns. Oops has a lot of ratchets as you can hear um, the arm can go only up to that much out hindered by the shoulder pads swivel at the top of the arm 90 degree bend swivel at the wrist this these two fingers move independently he doesn't have that ball on the other arm this is also a hand and there is no way to make it a ball fortunately um this part moves forward but this is particularly tight and because of that it tends to pop out a lot of times more so than the original unfortunately but it's not too bad um this part moves up and down if you move this up it will pop out that allows you to Move the feet forward, back to the side, hinge there, more than 90 degrees, but actually officially just goes to here, I guess, which is basically 90 degrees. This part goes up and down. The foot is on a ball joint, very heavy ball joint. So it goes up and down a little bit, swivels a little bit, um, pivots a little bit, and the toe just moves up and down. And this is a very soft um, joint, very weak joint. Well, it doesn't matter, you, you don't pose him in the toes anyway. Now, for some size comparisons, here he is with Siege Side Swipe. And here he is with Drift. I think personally that might be a good scale. He's still a bit big compared to the movie, but you know, I think it works. Here he is with your normal six inch figure. That is your pizza spidey mold. And here he is with the original little class Grimlock, which is not a bad figure. He's getting drowned out by the paint. Don't get me wrong, this is not a bad figure. I really like it. But this this thing just blows it out of the water. And here he is compared to well compared to the tiny Optimus that comes with him. So yeah, that, that, that is a perfect scale. And if you guys do collect Wei Jiang figures, here he is with M01 Commander. And here he is with 
MPP ten. Oop, close your chest. So yeah. Grimlock is bigger than both of them. Um, I wouldn't say he's better than both of them. If, if I was to rank these three, I still like this one first, that one second, and that one last. But that's not taking anything against this guy. This guy's really good. Okay, so let's transform him. Now his transformation is basically um, same as the leader class with a little bit of change at the end. So let's do that. First thing you do is you fold up that crest uh, good to unhook the shoulder pads uh, unclip so let's separate the legs as you would still do with the little class as well these joints are a bit tight which is good and bad I guess separate the legs still as difficult as the leader class to separate what can you do now that they're separate let's hide the head in pull this forward very tight joints rotate this in and close that up and then there's a few bits that need to line up on the shoulders for it to properly fit so just line it up and make sure they're flush like so now that allows us now let's rotate this that way rotate the waist 90 degrees and then tab those tabs to that bit uh, oh, rotate this down first so split the other the forehead rotate that down now you can tab this thing here tab the other side Now let's work on the legs first thing you do is you rotate these feet the the toes just rest inside the calf and then do that and it should rest that way let's do the same thing on the other one you rotate it until it unhooks then rotate it back till it stays in place rotate the feet toes go inside the calf there go these things just rest on top there and uh, there's a tab there that hooks the leg so just push that in same on the other side push that in pull that out and lift this back part up now let's do the face basically you rotate this down open up the arms unhook the lower jaw and then rest the fist inside that cavity very similar to the original even the clearances are similar and now you just close this off but before you do the upgrade part they go right there just plug that in there and then close up the mouth these two tabs there two slots there they just press neatly inside now since it doesn't have that the tail or the ball on the arm that turns into a tail take this part compress that in 
open that up close this bit around and then that hole is just it will go uh, on that hole i think let's see unless i'm mistaken yep so just peg that into that hole to hold it secure close it up and yeah That is M06 Legendary Warrior in Dino Mode. Now in Dino Mode, he does retain the, the look of the original leader class. But he does come with a few details that I can say complete the look. So first off, and the most noticeable one is that now the tail actually looks like a tail. It's not perfect uh, it's not posable or anything and it, it does look a bit long but for what it is i think it's really well done and then inside the mouth if you open that bit you can see that it, it does have that that sound which is also really nice really nicely done figure now in this mode it also does have light up features so how you do it is you open up this bit again oh, not you. and underneath here as you can see there is that button again and the battery goes into that hole so there is a screw there unscrew that another um, watch battery plug that in and then if you press that button there it will light up the eyes again a very bright very well well done led light in my opinion let's try closing the lights again very bright it just i don't know it just completes the look in my opinion now the other thing that you can do you can actually take out the tongue and then using this accessory you plug it in the same hole where the tongue goes better if you hide the screws Oop. okay just re-plug this in the connection is tight but no finagling it too much will cause it to unhook but yes you can see there is Grimlock with a fireball blast ready to hit old optimus let's put back the tongue it will again unhook that throat piece but what can you do and then the last bit that actually completes the look we take the mini optimus here now you'll have to rotate this part up or you can leave it down but um, i'm worried that it might not hyper extend over time this is just soft rubber anyway underneath his legs are this eye-shaped peg and wouldn't you know it you also have that eye-shaped horn there or h depending on rotation Okay, you just have Optimus plug his nether regions on Grimlock's back and you got a nicely done well-scaled Optimus Prime riding this gigantic Grimlock and I, I must say this makes for a really really nicely done display piece in my opinion He's going to be prominently displayed in my collection. 
Now, in terms of articulation, it is a bit limited. As you, you saw, you can open and close the mouth. The arms, the tiny arms are in on ball joints. And then the legs go forward, back, double jointed knees, and the ball joint on the foot. So that's all the art articulation you get. But probably that's the only articulation you need, I think. So let's go for some size comparisons. Okay, so I don't want to go too crazy with the comparison. So let's just do two. Here he is with the original Grimlock. Again, hard to see. He's getting drowned out by the light. Maybe if I do this. So, yeah, uh, no. Yes. Yeah. So that's how big he is compared to the original Grimlock. And again, here he is with Siege Side Swipe. So yeah, that's how big he is compared to a regular Deluxe. Okay, so final thoughts. Mm. As I've said, as, as with all Wei Jiang releases, this guy is is really really well done in my opinion so he has all the articulation you need all the details are really nicely done the light up features do make sense um aside from you know how difficult he is to transform because of the titan joints which which you argue would be a good or bad thing um me it's good anyway um I'd say there's no real negatives to getting this guy. Um, I got him for maybe the price of a Voyager or a little bit over the price of the Voyager when I was in Manila. I don't know how much he is now, so I'll have to look it up. But I think he is pretty reasonably priced. Um, and if you're just getting one, I mean, I'm not one to say support the KOs and don't support the original products um i do have the original but i think of the two this one is the must have if you were just to do one but no support hasbro get both in my opinion so yeah that's the review so if you did like that review please leave a comment do click the like button do subscribe and as always this has been grim trigger this has been mo6 legendary warrior thanks for watching